hi guys welcome back and if you are new welcome this is a step-by-step -step wig install tutorial if you want to know how i installed this 32 inch 13 by 4 frontal wig from world new hair just keep watching For my ball cap, I'm using some sheer stockings. You could either get them from the local beauty supply or the drugstore. I definitely recommend using sheer stockings because they are very thin and the thinner your ball cap method is, the more natural your install is going to look. Here I am using my bedhead spray to lay down my cap. I absolutely love this spray you guys. I will choose it 10 times over got to be. Got to be had my hair flaking so bad, it's a no-no for me, I'm sorry. Next thing I did was sewing the back of the cap to my hair to make sure that it stays in place and doesn't move. Next, I'm using my blow dryer to make sure that everything is dry and that my cap is stuck to my head. I'm cutting the lace and also making sure that all the extra lace comes off. We do not need any of that, so make sure your head is looking real bold. Now I'm going over the cap with some wig glue using a rat tail comb to press the cap onto my skin so it doesn't start lifting. I'm going in again with a blow dryer to make sure that the glue is dried. Now I'm using a cream foundation by KISS that I got from the beauty supply to make sure that my cap matches my skin tone. I'm using 91% alcohol to clean my forehead area before I apply my wig. I'm trying on the wig to measure the placement and to also see where I need to cut. So I had already customized the wig the day before. I don't even think it can pre-plucked because it didn't look like it was pre-plucked. So I had to do that and I also watercolored it jet black. And about the hair, it's actually a really great hair. Like it's super soft. I don't have any complaint about the hair at all. It's no shedding. The only thing, I just wish that the lace was a little bit thinner, but if you know how to customize it to make it look like scalp, then you have nothing to worry about. This is some really good hair. Now I'm applying the glue. I'm going to do four thin layers of glue and spread it all over where I'm going to apply the lace. I'm using a popsicle stick to spread the glue all over. And I actually got these from Dollar Tree. It was a dollar for the pack and 100 in the pack. Good price, good product, cause these be coming in handy when I'm doing my install. By the way, I'm using the bold hold glue. Y'all, at first, I did not like this glue at all, but it's actually my new favorite now because one thing I realized is that if you don't like the placement of your wig and the lace is not all the way pressed onto the skin, you can actually lift it up and place it wherever you want it to be and the glue will not mess up. Like, I don't know if anyone tried doing that before, but I've been doing that and the glue did not move, like it didn't move at all. So I really like that about it. Now I'm going over the lace with my blow dryer to make sure that it is sticky, not dry, but sticky before I apply the lace. Now I'm applying the lace and I'm going to be using my hands, my fingers, and a rat tail comb to press the lace onto my skin and make sure that everything is nice and melted. Now I'm going to use my elastic band on my hairline and let that sit for about 10 to 15 minutes 
just to make sure that the lace is further melted onto my skin. I'm using my blow dryer just to make the process a little bit faster. Now I'm using my hot comb just to slick all the hair back for when I'm about to cut the lace. So now I'm getting ready to cut the lace and I'm going to take my time during this process because I do not want to make a mistake and cut it wrong so I'm not going to rush it. Now I'm applying some more glue for the extra lace to make sure that everything is nice and flat. I'm going over the lace with my cream foundation just so it could look natural and matches my skin perfectly. Now I'm just plucking my middle part, separating my baby hairs, plucking them a little bit more to give me this natural look and going over them with some foundation and also using my hot comb to straighten them a little bit more so they could all stick together and now I'm cutting the baby hairs and curl them basically just getting them ready so I can style them I'm using my Eco Style Gel to lay my baby hairs and when doing your baby hairs just keep customizing them until you get them to look like the way you want them to because sometimes you have to keep doing them over and over so just keep working on them until you like them basically. I'm using this Surround by Fantasia just to add a little shine to my hair. Now I'm going over the part with some concealer just to make sure that it's a little bit more defined and I'm going to use my hot comb one last time to make sure that everything is nice and flat. And there you have it you guys, this is the final look. It's very much giving scalp, like the lace is melted onto my skin and everything is blended very nicely. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys on my next video.